We begin with that deputy who's now in the hospital after he was shot responding to a call. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jonathan Martinez. And I'm Sion Rhodes. The accused gunman took off after that shooting but was arrested this morning after an all-night search by investigators. Now Brady Ray about to appear before a judge for the first time. Channel 2 Sally Mamdu live from the Harris County Courthouse with this story. Sally. And see on Harris County, uh, Sheriff Ed Gonzalez says the shooting incident that we saw last night just goes to show how dangerous family disturbance calls can get, not just for the family member involved, but also for the officers responding. Sounds of gunfire. <laughs> captured on a neighbor's door ring bell camera. A gunfire exchange between this man right here, 39-year-old Brady Ray and Harris County deputies. <laughs> Investigators say on Friday night, Ray broke into his ex-wife's home in Katy. The ex-wife called 911 and once a deputy arrived, Ray fired his gun at the deputy, hitting him in the leg. Second responding deputy fired back at Ray, ran inside and eventually escaped, only to be found Saturday morning at this gas station nearby. Investigators say they found a pistol on him at the time. Sheriff Ed Gonzalez is breathing a sigh of relief that his officer will recover from his injuries. You know, it's always uh, the worst situation when one of uh, your own gets uh, shot and hurt and, and uh, you know, so, you know, we, we're relieved that he's going to survive his injury. You know, we advise everyone that's either going through, you know, a bad relationship, marriage or not, just to be cautious. You know, there's resources out there because these things could sometimes become very volatile and uh, very violent. Brady Ray is set to make his court appearance in less than 30 minutes. Now, he's facing several charges that range from aggravated assault causing serious bodily injury to an aggravated assault against police officer. We're live in downtown Houston. Sally Mabdu, KPRC, Channel 2 News.